Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm bringing to you a reading vlog. Yes, you heard me right, a reading vlog. I've been kind of hesitant to do reading vlogs just because I spend most of my days just working from home, listening to audiobooks, and not really looking like this, uh, as you'll see in the rest of this vlog. I don't really wear makeup most days, but you know, I just wanted to get into it. I feel like reading vlogs are a really great way to create content on the go as you're reading things. And I also had a really great theme for this. I decided to read my mom's favorite books. I have always been a reader and I definitely owe that to my mom. Growing up, we always had shelves and shelves of books and my mom reads very widely. She reads mystery, she reads fantasy, she reads romance. So in honor of Mother's Day, which is coming up next weekend, I thought it would be really cute to read her favorite books. I basically just sent my mom a text and asked her to tell me what she thought her favorite books were. She actually was pretty hesitant to give me an answer. I think I think it's just because she's read so much in her life she couldn't really pinpoint exactly what she liked. The first book that she recommended was Arrows of the Queen by Mercedes Lackey. Mercedes Lackey has been a fantasy author that my mom has always really enjoyed and I remember her books being on our shelves like all throughout my life. I actually took two of my mom's books a couple of years ago. I want to say like three or four years ago and I never got around to reading these and unfortunately for me my mom recommended reading Arrows of the Queen not one of these so I had to use Scribd to get a hold of it but essentially Arrows of the Queen is the first book in a fantasy series about this group of people called Harold, a special royal guard for the queen. And our main character, Talia, in this book is 13 years old and she comes from a group of people called the Holdrican. And in that community, it's really common for women to get married off very young to start bearing children. And so even though she's a very young girl, they announce to her that they want her to do that. And so she runs away because she's always dreamt of being a Harold. She's always heard lots of stories about them. And so she takes off you know, going to the Queen's Kingdom to do that. And then the next book on my mom's list was Crazy Rich Asians. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. This is a contemporary book about a woman named Rachel who goes to Singapore with her boyfriend, Nick, and she soon finds out that he's actually basically Asian royalty because his family is extremely wealthy. And so she gets swept up into this world of wealth that she's not used to. And they've been dating for two years, but he didn't really tell her about his family at all. And so Lots of different hijinks ensue. I think saying hijinks ensue is one of my favorite phrases to say. I feel like if you go through all my videos, I say that way too much when I don't know how to describe the plot of a book. And lastly, this did not surprise me at all when my mom said it, but my mom's favorite series of all time is the Mercy Thompson series by Patricia Briggs. There are like 15 books in this series and she has read all of them. I actually read the first book, Moon Called, I wanna say two or three years ago, and I didn't really enjoy it. But because I know this is my mom's favorite series, I went ahead and said that I would read Bloodbound, which is the second book. I tried reading this for the first time in I think 2018 and I did not really like it and I DNF'd it, but because this video is in honor of my mom, I, you know, I picked it up again. Billy. Why are you drinking water in the background? I'm filming a video. And before we get into the vlog, I do want to say that this video is kindly being sponsored by Ana Luisa. They are currently having a Mother's Day sale, which is 15% off of all products. I think that their jewelry would be a fantastic gift for you, your mom, your sister, really any person in your life that enjoys jewelry. I will say though, the last day to get standard shipping, if you do want to get it by May 9th, is today, May 5th. So put in your orders today if you do want to get it for your mom in time. My mom's a really special person in my life. Like I said earlier, she inspired my love of reading and I grew up with her as a single mom and so I was really happy to be able to work with Annalisa to give her these pieces. I had her actually pick out the earrings that she liked. These are the two earrings that she picked out. And I actually picked out a pair of earrings for myself as well. I picked out these like twisty um, hoop earrings. I think they give me very much like 90s, 80s vibe. It's kind of funny because I think my mom had a pair of these types of earrings when I was growing up and I love that that kind of retro look is coming back. My mom picked out these two small hoop earrings with charms on them. One of them having these really cute pearls and the other having these little gold discs with the star design on them. Something that's really exciting about Ana Luisa is that they worked really hard to become carbon neutral. 100% of the carbon emissions related to their products are offset. Another really cool thing is they have really fair prices. Their jewelry starts at $39 with no luxury markup. If you're interested in getting the 15% off for Mother's Day for either a gift for yourself or your mom, be sure to use my link in the description down below. And I really hope that you like the jewelry as much as me. It's a company that I really enjoy working with. I would not have done so many videos with them if I didn't believe in their products. And I just absolutely love wearing their jewelry. Hello, this is the first clip of this vlog. I am actually a little late because I already started my first book. I think I started on Friday and today's Monday, so it's been a few days. Also, spoiler alert, I'm not really enjoying the first book too much. I decided to go with the Mercedes Lackey book just because growing up my mom always had like tons of mass market paperback Mercedes Lackey books. That was a mouthful. 
mass market paper, paperback Mercedes lackey books. Anyways, she always had those laying around and so I just have always thought of her as a fantasy author that I want to pick up so I decided to start with that one and luckily Scribd had it on audio so I've been listening to it on audio. I have about five hours left of the book. It started out, I think it was nine hours long. Um, for some reason, I thought Mercedes Lackey was an adult fantasy author. I'm not sure if maybe she writes for lots of different age groups, but I just assumed it was going to be adult. But this is actually about a 13 year old girl. And you might be confused because in the previous clip, you probably saw me uh, tell you the plot of the book, but I actually am going to be filming that clip after this clip you're seeing right now. So it's very Inception-y. So I went into the book actually not knowing anything about the plot besides the title. And so I'm not loving it. I think it reads a little bit young. Um, unlike most YA, the 13 year old character actually acts like she's 13. And so me being a woman that is almost um, 30 is not really enjoying her point of view. It's written in third person, but the writing style is very info dumpy and the main character keeps annoying me, which is not fair of me to say because like I said, she is 13 and she does act like a 13 year old and I think that's why I'm not enjoying it. Um, I am gonna finish it just because I wanna commit to this vlog, I wanna commit to reading my mom's favorite books, but I'm not really sure what she's seeing in this book too much. Also, I have not made a reading vlog in so long. I feel like I don't know if this is even gonna turn out good. So please let me know down below if you're enjoying this vlog. Like I said, today is Monday and I haven't really read any of the book at all today, but I think I'm going to listen to this while I work on my bullet journal because it's almost the 1st of May and I want to make sure to get my bullet journal done in time. I don't know. Also, I feel a little subconscious that I came on with no makeup. Not to say that I've never been on my channel with no makeup because I have any other time I've ever made a vlog I've not worn makeup, but I guess because I don't really post that often anymore, I want to look really good. So hopefully I can look better in other clips. I'm just rambling at this point, but let's go work on my bullet journal and eat dinner and all that jazz while we listen to this audiobook. <laughs> I don't really know if this lighting or angle is really it for me, but I thought I'd give you guys another update. Today is Wednesday, so it's been a couple of days since I saw you last, and I have continued to listen to the Mercedes Lackey book, and I still don't really like love it, but I really need to get on with it and finish it, so probably going to try to finish it tonight. I am in my car right now because I had the worst day at work today i just had a bunch of people mansplaining to me and just being really irritating and i just was like so annoyed i felt like i was gonna cry well, i just thought to myself you know what i need i need taco bell so i ordered myself some taco bell and i'm gonna eat that now i ordered an obscene amount of food so i got myself a crunch wrap and i got myself a quesalupa and i got myself a quesarito. A lot of cheese happening here today. You know, I just had a horrible day and sometimes you need to eat Taco Bell. So I think I'm gonna sit here in my car and eat it and listen to the audiobook and hopefully I can finish it tonight. I think I'm uh, like three quarters of the way through. I'm just not loving it because of the writing style. It's very telling, not showing. There'll be like big chunks of time that just get told to you by the narrator and there's not a ton of detail in all the scenes and I kind of feel like the characters are not very well fleshed out. They feel very like goody two-shoes if that makes sense. Like so the main character you know she found out that she is a herald and she went to the collegium where she is like learning how to be a herald and she specifically is like a special kind of herald that's like called the queen zone which means that she is like the right hand of the queen and so she's doing all this training and I just feel like all of her instructors and like everyone around her is like so boring and the character Talia just like keeps crying all the time and I understand she's 13 years old so she's probably acting like a real 13 year old but I just find her really irritating. She did just survive an assassination attempt so I guess that was supposed to be the action of the story but I find that it's just very like one note. I'm not, I'm just not loving it. I I'm probably not going to like this book once I'm done. I think I'm gonna give it like two stars. Let's just eat our Taco Bell and um, 
I'll have a little bit of a mukbang moment for you. I need some mild sauce. I think I'm going to read Crazy Rich Asians next. I think there's more of a chance of me liking that book, even though I did already see the film. So I know a lot of what's going to happen, but I haven't seen the movie since it was in theaters. So hopefully it's a good time. Update. Eating that much Taco Bell made me feel sick. And all I've been doing is laying in bed watching TikToks and I have not finished the audiobook at all. Oh, <laughs> hello. Look how cute my dog is. She is tucked in like a little human. She's so cute. This has nothing to do with reading. She's just really cute and I thought you should see it. Okay, so today I was able to finish that Mercedes Lackey book. I don't know why I can never remember the name of it. I think it's like Arrows of the Queen or something like that, but I finished it finally because today I had to take my dog to the vet because she's been having some tummy troubles and you're not allowed to go into the vet. So I had to put her in there and she was in there for like an hour. So that gave me time to listen to the audiobook and finish it. And while I was listening to it, I realized what I don't like about it specifically. Like I finally found the words to describe it. So do you know how like classic fairy tales are written? Like I'm thinking like Brothers Grimm level, like Little Mermaid, Cinderella, that sort of thing. Like when you're reading those like original stories how the writing is more of like a tale summarizing what happened and you get only a little bit of dialogue. So it's like not necessarily the kind of narrative that we read in novels today. I feel like that's the style that this book was written. It was just a lot of like summaries and um, just like stilted dialogue when there was dialogue. And so I just, I didn't really love the characters. They kind of felt like the characters that you would see in a fairy tale where they like just were very two-dimensional and they only had like a few characteristics that made up each person. Also, you know how I was like originally saying that it was giving me middle grade vibes because the main character Talia was 13? Well, I would say about two years passed during the course of this book and there's like this random scene where one of her friends like finally becomes a herald and she comes to Talia's room to be like, look, I'm a herald now. And she randomly is like, oh, by the way, do you know what we use for birth control? <laughs> like she doesn't say it obviously in those like colloquial terms, but she's like, there's a potion you can take if you want to control your moon cycle. And if you want to like, you know, like, you know, like, Fuck. And so then there's like this mini plot line where Talia and this other guy that she's like in Herald training with like each other for like 30 seconds and they keep making plans to have sex even though they're literally 15 years old. It was just really out of place. And the way that that plot line resolves itself is that they keep trying to have sex but then they keep falling asleep because they're really tired from training. And so then they go, oh, the gods are keeping us apart. So we're probably just meant to be brother and sister. So then they decide that because they both are, don't have families that they're going to consider each other brother and sister, like blood brother and sister. And then they kiss each other on the mouth. It was all really weird to me, very weird. This was a hard pass for me. I also think it's a series, so I definitely will not be continuing. But yeah, I'm about to drive to my boyfriend's house. We're hanging out tonight. And so I'm going to probably start Crazy Rich Asians. I think I borrowed it from my library, so I could probably start listening to it while I'm driving. My boyfriend doesn't live super close to me. He lives like, 30 to 45 minutes away depending on traffic so that's plenty of time to listen to an audiobook on two times speed so i may or may not have an update for you guys later tonight um if not i'll check in tomorrow i'm gonna try to read crazy rich asians a lot faster than i read this book because it took me like literally a week hello it is a saturday i think it's around like 5 45 right now and i am almost finished with crazy rich asians i meant to check in sooner but I just didn't end up getting a chance in the last day or so. And I have to say that the actual writing style of the book is not my favorite. Um, contemporary can be very hit or miss for me, but I think because I saw the film and I really liked the film, it is lending to me liking the book. And I can also see why someone would have read this and thought this would make a really good movie because it kind of has that setup. I wish I was one of those booktubers who filmed like really artistic shots. I know I tried on the first day of vlogging. Um, I don't know if those shots really counted as being aesthetic, but 
let me know what you guys think of this vlog. Um, I definitely can work harder to get more B-roll if that like helps make it more interesting. <sighs> but yeah, also this is my first clip where I'm actually wearing makeup and I feel good about the way that I'm looking. That's nice. Okay, I actually have an update for you. It's truly been about 10 minutes since I just filmed that. I got in my car and I kept listening to the audiobook and I didn't know I only had five minutes left to the audiobook. So I finished it. I finished Crazy Rich Asians. So I haven't even driven to my boyfriend's house yet because I'm getting gas. So I guess I'm just gonna start the Patricia Briggs book now. I did try to read this, I think like two years ago. I like read the first book, didn't like it. And now I'm gonna try the second book again. I DNF'd it before, but I'm gonna revisit it for the sake of my mom. Oh, also I looked up the um, Mercedes Lackey book to see what year it was published. And it was published like 1986. I'm trying to do the math on how old my mom would have been then. If she, let's say she read it like the year it came out. 1986, okay, 19... <laughs> mm, I'm gonna need a calculator for this. My mom is 24 years older than me. So in 1992, my mom was 24. No, okay, math. 1986 to 1992, six years so 24 minus six is eight no eight 18 yes yeah? so my mom would have been 18 when she read this i actually googled it to see if it's considered ya and i don't think ya was really like a category back in the 80s and early 90s but i did see some people referring to it as a young adult series so Maybe that's why my mom liked it, because she was 18 when she read it. But anyway, my gas is done now, and I'm going to go to my boyfriend's house. So that's my update. I finished Crazy Rich Asians. I'm probably going to give it like three stars. It was it was decent. It was entertaining. Definitely a breath of fresh air after that um, Arrows of the Queen book. So I am, I want to say like almost halfway through the Mercy Thompson book, Bloodbound. That's what it's called. I am not having a good time keeping track of book titles in this vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm about halfway through it, and I have to say, I definitely like it more this time around than the last time I read it and DNF'd it. It gives you very much urban fantasy werewolf vibes, like everything you would expect from like a series like that, that is what it is serving. Maybe it's just because I've read so much more romance and urban fantasy since I tried reading this series. I think it was like 2018 that I tried this. Or 2019. Time is just, it all blends together for me now. But right now I am in the parking lot of my pole studio. I am going to a pole class in person for the first time in a very, very long time. I guess like since like February of 2020. So it's been over a year since I've been to a pole class in person. That's pretty exciting. This is like a tricks class where I learn more like conditioning and climbing and different tricks versus um, if any of you follow my pole Instagram, you'll see that I've done a lot of dance stuff more recently in the last year because um, I have a pole at home and I take classes online. Um, I have a feeling if I keep chucking through the book, um, I might be able to finish it today. It's feeling very like three stars to me right now, so which is pretty standard for romances and urban fantasy for me as far as ratings go. Okay, I just got out of my class based on my breathing. In my face, I think you can tell that it was very difficult. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a very difficult class taking off my KT tape, um, and we had to wear masks because um, I think they're assuming not everyone in there is vaccinated, which is very fair. Got to keep it COVID safe. Um, and let me tell you, that was my first time personally trying to work out with a mask on, and. I, would, I have never been more tempted to do the Karen nose out. I am definitely gonna be looking into masks specifically made for working out. I think Under Armour makes one. I will be purchasing that this week for sure. Um, I just simply wanted to perish um, and I tried to learn some tricks. Like I used to know quite a few tricks if you follow me on my pole Instagram. I know I keep saying that, but if you follow me on my pole Instagram, you'll see that I in the past could do some tricks and stuff, but it's been such a long time and I've lost so much strength. And today we were doing these tricks that have to do with like leg hangs and leg hangs have never ever been my like strong suit. Needless to say, it was looking rough. And you try your best, but you don't succeed. I'm gonna head home now. Obviously listen to my audiobook while I'm driving, so I'll listen to more of um, Mercy Thompson. Mercy Thompson, is that, is that the name of the series? I, for the life of God, 
life of God, for the love of God. I'm really bad at saying sometimes. <laughs> for the love of God, I cannot remember book titles in this vlog. I'm gonna head home now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna head home now and I might stop and get some Wendy's on the way. Healthy habits, work out, then get fast food, so. I got McDonald's. Tell me how I just woke up and I looked like I didn't sleep. Shout out to the girlies with dark under eyes. Love that for us. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining like a motherfucker out there. Like, it's probably resonating into the sound here, so sorry for that. But I finished the Patricia Briggs book. Why is that a tongue twister for me? By the way, I finished Bloodbound and final verdict. It's giving me three stars. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, yeah, so it was pretty standard, run of the mill. Honestly, maybe two and a half stars. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna give it three because I don't feel like doing a half star on it because it wasn't like horrible, um, but it definitely was not anything to write home about. The writing was kind of eh. Tell me why I'm thinking about reading the next book in the series. I don't know. Elias actually likes this series. I think he's talked about it. There's like literally 15 books. And I think I saw in one of his wrap ups from either earlier this year, late last year that he read the most recent one. So I think he's been trucking along on this series for a long time, but I don't know. This one was interesting because there wasn't really a lot of romance in it. Like she has a couple of love interests, but it mostly was about the politics of like the vampires and the fae and the werewolves and stuff. I think what I don't like about the series is that because the werewolves are like the main creatures or people, beings, species, races, I don't know. They're like the main ones that Mercy interacts with. They have such a wolf kind of pecking order. And so it's just like weird and kind of like alpha, beta, you know, that kind of stuff. So I don't love that. But this book had more to do with the vampires, which was interesting, but it was still a lot of politics. So I don't know. I might listen to the next one. I don't know. I think it's around 11 a.m. right now on Monday. So I need to film the intro and outro of this video. I don't know what else to say. So that's it for the vlog clips. Oh, one more thing. I discovered something really cool on Audible. You're probably gonna think I'm an idiot for just noticing this, but whenever I would listen to books on Audible, I would always be really confused when it would tell me how much time was left in the book because I was like, how can there only be two hours left of this book when I know there's X, Y, Z pages left or whatever. I realized, I discovered that Audible changes the length of the book depending on how fast you have it reading to you. So since I listen to books on Audible on 2.5 speed quite often, it is shortening the length remaining because of what you said you're, you know, the speed. I love that. I think more book apps should do that. Like I would love it if Overdrive did that. I would love it if Scribd did that. So this is truly the end of my clip now, but fun things that I learned. Also, let me know if you liked this vlog because I'm a insecure. The first book I read was the Mercedes Lackey book. Oh, okay, I did the math in the vlog. I was very bad at doing the math. I realized it came out in 1987, and so then I tried to do the math, and I was like, oh, she must have been like 18 or 19 when she read it. But then in the, in the vlog, I was like, I said so confidently, she's 24 years older than me. No, you're 26 years older than me. You had me when you were 26. No, I wasn't a teenager. Okay, maybe books just weren't as good in the 80s, like 80s and 90s. Like, I don't know. Like, I have no explanation for why you like that book. <laughs> I think I was in my early 20s. Okay, that's what I was trying to say, because I was like, as a 30-year-old woman in 2021 trying to read that, it is, it just does not compare to fantasy now. I don't know, I just didn't, I did not like it. I'm gonna, I gave it one star. I'm sorry. That's okay, you didn't have a... Then I read Crazy Rich Asians, and I liked it. I think because I already saw the movie, it made me like the book. I don't know if I read the book before the movie, if I would have loved the book. I didn't love the writing style. It felt very, like, it was positioned well to be a movie, but as far as a book on its own, the writing was, like, kind of, like... Well, and, and the way that it ended is different the way they ended the movie. Yeah, I actually want to go back and rewatch the movie. I might do that this week. And then I read Bloodbound. I liked it better this time. Although the only thing I don't like about it, which I was saying in my vlog, is that it is very politics-based. And I think that's what I don't like about werewolves in particular. I don't like the whole, like, toxic masculinity, like, alpha-beta thing. Like, it's just, like, a lot. Well, it makes her so fun. It, so she's like, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not buying into that. So just well, she don't even. No, there's parts of the book where she has to buy into it, or she it'll like she'll die if she doesn't. I think it's funny how she keeps getting into scrapes. Like she doesn't even have to do anything, and all of a sudden it's like all these problems are at her door. I feel that this collection of books you chose for me is very eclectic. Yeah, 
Oh, because my tastes are eclectic. I know, but you were all like, I don't know what my favorite books are. I'm like, you read all the time. I don't understand how you wouldn't know what your favorite books are. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that there's a lot of books that I really like. Um, I know there's authors that I really like. Like, I really like Anne McCaffrey. Now, of course, there's not going to be anything new from her. She died. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Oh, my fucking God. She fucking did. Well, there you have it. That's my reaction to my mom's books. And this is her reaction to my reaction, which is uh, oh. very... Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That brings us to the end of this vlog. Let me know down below what you thought. I felt a little nervous making this. I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good. So feel free to give me anything that you liked, didn't like, anything you'd want to see from me, any topics you'd want me to vlog about so that I can, you know, get better at giving you guys content more frequently. Thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.